All right, moving on to the uh, next section. We're now going to be talking about the uh, the product rule. And uh, what the product rule is is basically if you have a function um, in terms of two separate functions that are multiplied together, that are a product of each other. Well, the derivative of a function of two functions multiplied together is going to be the derivative of the first function times the second function left by itself plus the first function left by itself times the derivative of the second function. And that's it. That's all the product rule is. Um, so let's do an example. So for if you have f of x equals, let's say I got uh, 3x here, and then here I got, uh, let's say, 2x squared minus um, 4x. So as you can tell, this is a function as a product of two separate functions. So this 3x is like this uh, p of x here, and this 2x squared minus 4x is like this q of x. So when we take the derivative, we can just apply the product rule here. So we'll take the derivative of the first function. So the derivative of 3x is just 3. We'll keep the, uh, the second function as itself, plus we keep the first function as itself, so that'll just be 3x, and then we take the derivative of the second function. So the derivative of 2x squared, that's just 4x. And then the derivative of 4x is just 4. And then we, um, we distribute this 3 inside. So uh, 3 times 2x squared, that's 6x squared. And then 3 times negative 4x is just negative 12x. 3x times 4x is uh, 12x squared, and then 3x times negative 4 is negative 12x. So, collecting like terms, we got this 6x squared and we got this uh, 12x squared, so that just ends up being 18x squared, and then this negative 12x and negative 12x, so minus 12x, minus 12x, that just ends up being negative 24x. So, uh, that's the derivative of this function and we applied the product rule. Now you could have just also um, in in this case because it's easier you could have just uh, the distributed or expanded these brackets so distributed the 3x into the second bracket so if we did it like that um, so f of x equals 3x and then uh, we got 2x squared minus 4x so if we distribute the 3x inside, so 3x times 2x squared, that's 6x cubed. And then um, 3x times negative 4x is negative 12x squared. And then we just take the derivative of that and we get 18x squared minus 24x. <clears throat> Which seems like it's easier to do, and it is in this case, but uh, the functions for product rules will get a lot more complex. They'll have something like, like this second function will have maybe a six there, all right? And then obviously you're not gonna expand it with the power of six, that'll take you forever. Um, so you would use the product rule then. I was just doing a simple example just so you could see how the mechanics work. Um, <clears throat> another thing is uh, make sure you go over the proof of this. It's in your book. It'll just deepen your understanding. And again, maybe your teacher might test you uh, on the proof of that. So um, make sure you go over it. It's in your book. They do a good job of explaining it.